Hi, this is Homeschooling with Ginger. I'm going to be making videos for each subject um, for our third grade year. So I'm starting out with math today. One of the math programs we're going to be using is Simply Good and Beautiful Math 3. We did um, level two last year and he enjoyed it. And I think the spiral method that the good and the beautiful uses worked well for him. So this is a lesson we've done already. We're going to do a couple of pages a day is my plan instead of doing a whole lesson a day because there's only 120 lessons and they are a little long. So first you have some mental math to work on. And then you have the lesson, and that requires you reading, maybe working some stuff on a whiteboard or chalkboard. One thing I do not like is it, the pages are very busy. And then there's where he practices what we learned in the lesson. So there's a lot of practice, more so than second grade, I find. And there are some word problems, which is also an improvement I find. And then we have independent practice or a review. Mm -hmm. and this was, I said it was independent practice. It says review and activities. He could not do this independently because I had to help him figure out the, the logic puzzle. And here's lesson three, rounding. So we did that yesterday and then the next time I'll get him to do that in practice so it's I think it'll seem in it better because he's using two days to go over that new concept so we have several problems here including word problems and then we have yes it's not called an independent work it's called review and activities so when we work on Monday he'll do those two pages. Okay, lesson four, we jump over to multiplication. So, you know, with the good and the beautiful, you're constantly changing what you're doing every day. It's, you might do something for a couple of days, but then it's gonna switch to something else. Totally not mastery where you have a whole chapter of the same topic. But in our review, we have the rounding, which were the first couple of lessons, the place value, which was the first lesson, and some puzzles. We really enjoyed the um, logic stuff last year. So he's happy and we get to do tangrams this year. Okay, so I'm gonna skip over to, this is lesson 11, telling time to the nearest minute. And see, this lesson's only three pages long, so I'll have to divide that up. We have measuring and estimating using centimeters. Okay. Skip ahead a little bit. Uh, metric measurements. Yes, that's another three page lesson. So I'm not gonna have an exact science here, but I don't I don't like overwhelming him. We do school year round um, with math and reading. And I don't like him getting, we, we work pretty fast. I don't like him getting too burnt out while we're doing our instruction time. And then um, he usually comes back to the table and does a lot of work on, on his own. See, this lesson is four pages because there's a lot of pictures, stories. You know, it is it is a, t a lot to look at on a page, which I, I could see where that would bother some people. Like, I think if I was learning, I would not like I would not like this book. But. He's done, we have used several math programs and he has done well with this one. So we make it work. <laughs> and 
and he likes like if he turns the pages he's a koala he likes that okay let me skip ahead um metric length conversions so we're going to be doing all kinds of things um Lines of symmetry. Those gave us trouble last year. There's multiplication fact practice throughout these lessons. You're also supposed to be working on them every day um, via sheets you can print out from their website, flash chords, or musical multiplication. We have four graphs. This is some good um, number number sense, I would call that. I'm not sure that's the right term. Comparing fractions. So I think this is um, not at all easy for for third grade. Um, We're at less than 51, so almost halfway through, and there's still not a lot of just multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. And there are, we're just still practicing the simple facts. So they, because they're teaching you all kinds of other stuff, so they expect you to do, be doing those multiplication facts on your own. Unit review. Um, here we go. Here we go with factors. One digit by two digit. So this is the second half of great, uh, great, um, level three. Volume. And let me know down below if you'd like to do um, do a lesson with me. I can easily do that with him, and you can see how we how we work and how it goes. I mean, it is. A beautiful program. I think they explain things well. How are you liking Math 3, Parker? Not, not much, not really that much because really I had to study those multiplication He doesn't facts. like having to learn his multiplication facts. There's a picture of California here. <laughs> <laughs> a multiplication tour that's when you know your multiplication facts so here would be the the third assessment I believe you have negative numbers wow um, temperature I didn't know we'd be learning negative numbers you have fractions Multiplication, multiplication by one number, factors, metric, and U.S. measurements, perimeter and area. We learned that. Um, we learned, I think, perimeter and math two, volume. Okay, here we go. Unit four. So we have intro to division. So that's at the end of the year we're getting into division. The Good and Beautiful does have a lot of geometry, I find. And they just, they seem to just have different topics than other math programs address. Like there, there are a lot of puzzles and I think you know, that gets the kids to think differently. So 
this is a game. Let's see, there's a lot of numbers right here. So if you have ADHD or vision problems, you might have difficulty with some of the lessons, but you can, you can adopt it. You could write what they're after on, on the board and just have your student find the answers. Because, you know, I do adapt it for our ease of use. See more geometry stuff. Conversions. Okay, so the other program we are using, and we've been using, oh, before I say that, I did buy the answer key because that comes in really handy. And that way I can leave the course book in front of him and be reading the lessons if my eyesight doesn't fail me too much because some of the wording is too tiny, but most of it I can read it out of here to him and not be trying to share the course book. Okay. So the other program we are using is Matthew C. Gamma. We are already on lesson nine. So we started this a few weeks ago and I'm kind of undecided if I'm going to just let this teach him his multiplication facts or if I'm gonna go in the order that the good and the beautiful does. The good and the beautiful, like this is set A and you're supposed to know set A by a certain time, um, a certain lesson in the course. So they're all random and you just have to memorize them. Matthew C um, does the easy ones first. We've done zero, one, two, five, ten, which we had already been working on a little bit. And then we went to nine. So right now he's trying to learn the nines, but he he's not that great at memorizing. So he, he has to have a lot of practice. Something that you don't see in other math programs. There's like algebra in third grade math. They have the different ways to write multiplication. They have word problems in every lesson. So this is the new lesson, lesson 10. So this is going over nines again. And so A, B, and C will be just multiplying those nines, including in word problems. Then D will have some multiplication, all numbers. And then we have this solve for the unknown, which is algebra or basically teaching division. We have area, which we've covered, and word problems. So D, E, and F will be that same format. And then G is usually some kind of application, puzzle kind of thing, dot to dot. Um, I like this program because I like the black and white, just get it done, a few problems. Um, but they're, both programs are, are teaching so well, they just teach different things. And teach it in different ways. And of course, Matthew C has a different scope and sequence. They don't teach division in the gamma book besides by that solve for unknown. That is basically division. But they tell you to do it via skip counting. And the good and beautiful tries to get you away from skip counting. So later on, let's, see, let's jump ahead. Um, lesson 15, we're learning multiples of four. 17, we're in seven. So you gotta learn them pretty quick. Okay. This is seven again. It looks like some of the hoarder numbers they've given us a few lessons, a few weeks to cement those. Okay, then when they start 
doing multi um digit multiplication they teach it using place value so once you're with really big numbers i think this would be harder and they teach you the standard way of doing it as well but for little numbers and to maybe get you your student used to doing multi-digit multiplication they give you this option first now there is some rounding so that's good learning factors and here's two digit by two digit I'm just trying to find when they here they, here we go. Um, here's the standard. We never wrote ours like this. We wrote the ones and twos up here, <laughs> but this is how they teach it. Uh, I don't know how I'll do it, how I'll get him to understand when we get to that point. So they do teach both ways. So since gamma is just about multiplication, you get into big numbers. So four by two. So you're doing that in gamma, whereas we're not going that big in, in another program where you do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We have always used two programs, um, math programs, because we school year round. Um, we've used rod and staff a lot because that's drilling in the addition and subtraction facts. Um, I could have also used Matthew C for that. And we tried BJU Press, which he liked, but I did not care for it. I don't, I didn't like um, how mastery it was. And just, I was supposed to teach so much before the lesson and the lesson wasn't actually that much. Um, I just, I, it's more geared for a classroom. I just didn't care for it. So last year we did Good and Beautiful, BGU and Rod and Stop. <laughs> so he had a lot of math. Um, so this is the first time using math, you see, and so we'll see how that turns out. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, he's a master of multiplication and he doesn't hate math because um, he's liked it so far. So again, I will be doing videos for all our subjects for the upcoming 2022, 2023, third grade school year because we have lots and the, the pile of books is uh, very daunting and scary and I don't know where I'm going to put them all. So um, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.